Welcome to another Women Lead TV session. I'm Michelle Burquist, your host today, and with me, now I'm going to stumble on this girl because this is a <laughs> mouthful. This is Kaylee White, and Kaylee is the founder and content strategist for Kaylee Writes. What I love about you is you help build thought leaders. Mm, yes. So tell us a little bit about how you do that with content because I love it. People are listening, Kaylee. Oh, Let's yes. The word thought leader perks everyone's it ears. <laughs> I want to sit up taller when I hear it. That's what I'm thinking yes. about. Um, so when I bring you know bring people on um, and I work with my clients um, we start out by building a content strategy um, and kind of figure out how we want to take them down the path of thought leader um, do we want to take them down the road of being a speaker do we want to take them down the road of being um, just known for really in-depth like 3,000 word technical blog post, that type of thing. So it's just kind of what type of thought leader you're going to be mm -hmm. um, and what path you want to take. Um, it's and, crazy, okay? Because oh, that's yeah. what you've taken me to. Well, I think I've taken you to sane and organized. <laughs> At least a little bit yes. in this section. You, you come, you, you strategize the crazy. Yes. But you know, can we go there for a moment? Sure. Because you and I met, and it's like I I saw your articles that you did for another CEO, mm -hmm. Renee Van Heel, and I loved your content. And I started getting your email marketing. I was like, this girl can write. I mean, that was first and foremost what I loved, but. The sessions that we've had, you know, you've really made me think about what kind of message, what kind of voice am I trying to create as a leader of an, a women's association, right? So talk a little bit about how you help people find their voice, because I thought that was phenomenal in how you've helped me. Well, and uh, when it comes to content, a lot of people are focusing on creating the content and making sure that they're consistent and doing all of this other stuff. And they've got checklists, uh, you know, up the yin yang about YouTube and all of this other stuff that they have to produce right. but they don't stop and think about the what they're actually saying they don't stop and they don't um, actually think about their message right. and being able to say what you want to say get to the point in the way that you want to be known for that's so much more important than just producing everything and anything you can think of because if you don't say it in the right way someone's gonna take it differently or they're gonna come to you and they're not gonna understand what you're doing and then when you go oh well, wait, wait a minute I'm actually doing something else they're gonna get really confused and then they just don't want to work with you anymore so here's what's genius about you though I feel like so many people try to tell you um, what you need to do what I thought was and again I don't know if this has been your strategy but what this is what I experienced was you literally pulled pieces out of me that I didn't even realize you know I mean it helped lead me to a lane that I said oh this is the voice I want to create mm -hmm. so I, I, I really I don't know if that's a strategy you've done but walk people through that are listening how do you try to capture like what it is they're intending to share I know that's part of their voice yeah. but you were really good with the question so <laughs> what well it tips. We, there are millions of articles online, there are millions of videos saying you should do this, you should do that, you should do this. Should. Yeah, exactly. Should. And it's like, I don't want to do any of that. Like, I want to do this because I'm good at it or I feel comfortable in it and I can really share my message that way mm -hmm. and it just works the best for me right now. And I come and I talk to all of these clients and their thing is why well, I, I really have to get a YouTube video but I have no idea what I'm doing or what strategy or what to say and it's like then don't do the YouTube video let's right. do what you're comfortable with and I I really when I first come in it's what do you need help with mm -hmm. what do you want a copywriter for I'm not here to go this is everything you should have and need and do like I, I there's way too many people telling you what you should do. Can I say thank you for that? <laughs> well, no, because I think that's what's ingenious for you, which may be just dumb luck, or that's just who <laughs> you are, like Curious George, because I admire that, is you're kind of like, what does that person want? Because I think what so many owners are dealing with right now, Kaylee, is we're told we need to create content. Mm -hmm. And it is absolutely stressful of every woman owner I know and I come across and I talk to them every day. <laughs> so what would be some tips you would suggest for either owners or anybody that's trying or told they need to create more content what would be maybe like one two three step five seven, eight, <laughs> you can count it's okay Michelle <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Anyway. Um, my tips would be um, 
figure out a system. So don't try every tool, don't try everything. Mm. Just pick something you're comfortable with. I use Google Drive because it's easy. I can access it everywhere and I just dump stuff in there. You're talking about how they would organize. Yes, organize it. So okay. get organized, figure mm -hmm. out where you're gonna put everything, what ideas you're gonna put, how you're gonna actually manage it. Mm -hmm. And then focus on what you want to create with that system. Is it gonna be blog posts? Is it gonna be podcasts? Is it going to be, you know, TV show like, like this? Like today we're doing yes. TV show. So figure out what type of content you want to produce, mm -hmm. how you're gonna produce it, and then just start producing, you know? Create a schedule, start um, block working on everything. So one day, sit down for two hours or 90 minutes if you do the premiere, Promoto or whatever that is called. What was that word? Uh, I have no idea. It's it's like a prom promedio. It's a it's a style of working that you work at ninety minutes. Oh. So you work ninety minutes on a certain task, okay. and then you take like a five minute break mm -hmm. or twenty minute break, whatever, and you refresh yourself, and then you spend another ninety minutes working on another thing. Can I so, offer a tip? Yes. Yeah. So this was for me because I cannot work in that kind of environment. I can't, I can't either. It's like insane to me. Too long. So for me, I'm. I'm always on the fly mm -hmm. and one of the things that I've loved is this is where now because of the good encouragement you gave me was I use Evernote and so thank you Evernote I'm not getting paid for this <laughs> is that I jot you know and I jot yep. when I have an idea because I always seem to get ideas when I'm driving okay I'm safe when I'm driving but when I'm driving or I'm at an event and I think oh my gosh that would be a great idea for a blog post or a theme for a radio show or any of those things but I do get what you're saying but I do think so many people get ideas when they're not thinking they need to be doing that. And, so and that's where the organization comes yeah. in, is you had didn't, you had all these ideas, you had plenty of ideas for all of that content, you just didn't know where to put it, you didn't know, know how to use that. That's my crazy. And that's the crazy for you, and some people, you know, some people have that crazy, so create a system. The other people have the crazy where it's just, I have all of these ideas and my list is like 19 pages long, but what do I do with that? And then you start creating the system where, okay, first things first, create an outline you know write the, the actual content figure out when you want to publish it you know it doesn't have to be this big scary marketing thing it's just you're talking to your audience you're talking to your clients you're developing a relationship yes. you want to be friends because I have I don't I have enough friends, friends. <laughs> um, here's another question we only got a couple minutes left mm -hmm. you know what what prompted you to get into this business I mean what for you was like I need to do this and I need to start this as a business um I've always been someone who wants to do a business my entire life goals you I want to be an entrepreneur. entrepreneur yes I want to be a business owner um, but I didn't actually start in the writing industry um, I wrote I have like 19 notebooks that I use at any one time um, but I actually started learning marketing and being a marketing strategist and doing um, the actual marketing things and then I realized that's way too freaking much work and there's Did so many hey it's the nice one right <laughs> <laughs> but there's just there's way too much with that and I couldn't keep up with it mm -hmm. but my mom actually suggested like you're you're always writing you're always writing why don't you write for a business why don't you write for you know what you want to do and it was kind of like a oh i could yeah so that's kind of how i got into it and because i had the marketing background it was super easy to transition into copywriting and content strategy because it's the same thing just less work but i do like that you specialize in the writing yes. but you also see it in the big picture yes so for those of us that are out there and we're thinking we need to do more content what kind of one or two things can you leave us with that'll say i'm ready to take charge of my content <laughs> and my strategy well don't overwhelm yourself that's the big thing is pick one content mm -hmm. and work to it. Become an expert at it. Because if you wanna become an expert at YouTube and video and podcasts and writing, it's just too much. And you're, you're, you guys are out there, you're being amazing business owners, getting clients, you know, you're doing the actual business side of it. You don't need to be overwhelming yourself yeah. with everything. So just become an expert at one, and then if you feel ready and you're ready to like expand, then jump on another, bring some more, you know, experts in to help you with that one. But start small 
but go at it 100%. Like you've done it already with the whole business. So just go be 100% with the blog post or whatever you want to do. I think you've inspired our community. <laughs> so I want to thank you again. That's a wrap. Yep. Kaylee, thank you for being our guest. We'll see you again on another Women Lead TV session.